she she just looked like a different fighter in, in there and a scary fighter for, for, for that matter so this here is is a big big fight for her she wants to go to three and one she needs to go to three and one talk about someone with big goals this is glory watson and you know, the, the path to the UFC for female fighters, let's face it, it's easier than it is for male fighters. There's just there's so many more male fighters out there competing where you'll, you'll get the UFC's attention if you start off your pro career quick and strong. So this is important for Glory. She does not want to drop to two and two. She needs to get this win here, and she's got a tough opponent, Natalie Schlesinger, one and zero. Oh. She's coming up from 105 pounds. Most of her AMI fights uh, were at 115, but I, I talked to her coach ahead of, ahead of time. She's coming up from 105, so there could be a chance where Glory has a little bit of a size advantage here. Natalie was five and three as an amateur. All of her fights went the distance, so she's got a very, very good gas tank. She's a BJJ purple belt. And again, fighting out of the Driven Gym. The Driven Mafia fight team is what they call it. And they, they call her the Mafia Queen. <laughs> so her coach, Sh uh, Shorty Rock, Sean Santella told me all that prior to the event starting. So it's interested to see what Natalie can bring to the table here against Glory. Yeah, you know, what I'm looking for when I look at Glory, I want to see that she has that excitement like we like we recognized in that last fight when she flipped the switch and then she had got like a turbo blast. Like she went into another level. And she doesn't get off to a slow start. She's very quick. But then when she smells blood, she's like a shark. Yeah. She goes right after it. And I'm looking to see that today. But this girl, her teammates are putting on a pretty impressive performance today. So you know she's She's coming here to win. Yeah, no doubt about it. Glory Watson obviously fighting out of Young's MMA, but they travel a lot to get the work in that she needs. She goes down to CMBJJ, trains with Jesse the Viking Erickson and that whole crew there. She's also at Famoso BJJ yep. uh, with Jason Eric Bell. Shout out to JB and Ryan Burgess. Uh, she's been training with them for a long time. And, you know, JB rants and raves about how great of a, of a person and fighter Glory clearly is and, and how much she's grown over the time working with them as well. She also trains at Nostos too. So she's getting around, you know, training with a, a, a lot of different looks, which has improved in her overall game. And she's 27 years old now, so she's just coming into her her physical prime here. And the the future is bright, the ceiling is high, and this fight is very very important. And here she comes to the cage right now with Chris Young, Jimmy Jackson, Levi Sewell in tow. Out to her song she always comes out to. I'm, I'm not sure what the song is, but anytime I hear it, I immediately think of Glory Watson. <laughs> This is the Glory Watson theme song. That's right. Well, she is a dedicated, she's a dedicated individual in this sport. I mean, you know, if you know Glory, you know she puts more work in than most. She does travel anywhere. She's committed 1,000% to having a career in this sport. Her attitude's great. Great um, coach and Chris Young. You know, a lot of the hopes and dreams of main fight fans really are on her because everybody want every, this vibe is everybody wants to see her go forward oh for sure for sure you know and and she's put in the work yes. you know former amateur champion here for for new england fights and you know everyone wants to see her the, the, the success that, that she wants so you know we want to see her achieve that but yeah. natalie schlesinger's her her team her family, her friends, they want the same for her. Yeah, they don't you want know? to see Glory of win. Of course not, of course <laughs> not. So you got you got a game opponent on the other side of the cage here and undefeated Natalie Schlesinger. And you know Glory doesn't take easy fights. Glory wants the hardest fights she can get. She wants to be tested. She wants to put the work in and find out her limits. And we'll see tonight, man. And you got Glory in there smiling, jumping around, having a good time, and Natalie is mean mugging her. 
Looking Ladies over at the giant scowl on her face. Contest, we go to the flyweight division. This fight's scheduled for three rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner to my left. She comes to us from the Driven Gym. Ladies and gentlemen, an NAF welcome for Natalie Schlesinger. And her opponent, competing out of the red corner directly across the cage. She's no stranger to New England fights and comes to us from Young's MMA. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back inside the cage. Lily Watson! Three rounds, flyweights. This is so great to see. You got one girl's mean mug and the other one's just like in there like, like she's... Yeah, like she's the the queen of the of the uh, the parade, you know, smiling, yeah. so happy. That was the loudest this place has been tonight. And here we go, Glory yeah. Watson, Natalie Schlesinger, 115 pound matchup. Natalie weighed in at 116, Glory 115.6. So quick on her feet, both of these girls. I got the feeling out process here early on, gauging each other's timing. <laughs> really balanced attack from Schlesinger. Got a good head kick. Looks to have a good left uh, jab, good left hand. Yeah, both of these ladies moving well in there thus far. The speed is high level we'll see if this fight takes place on the feet or if it hits the ground but either way i think we're in for a fun one nice shot there from natalie yeah didn't affect glory much oh that's the second time she's brought that left leg up to her head First one didn't connect too much, but that one did. Sometimes it takes Gloria a, a little while just to kind of get adjusted to get in there. And then, you know, like in that last fight, yeah. when she started feeling herself, she opened up and looked fantastic. We'll see if we see some flashes of what we did at NEF 46 with the big win over Ali Beth Miller on. Yeah, I don't know if it's a slow start or if it's, you know, just a calculated, like, you know, when I get my opening, I'll go, you know, like she doesn't, she's calculated. She's a very calculated fighter. I think when, if we see that smile, that we might see that extra gear we saw in that last fight. Well, both of these ladies are, are throwing hard and fast right now as we're two minutes, 40 seconds left here in the first stanza. Yeah, there's a lot of really good fast pocket work going on right here. They get in there, they're letting the hands fly, then they're backing out quickly. You know, for a BJJ purple belt, um, Natalie has pretty good hands. Oh, yeah. It's a good leg kick there by Glory, and again, Natalie up top with the leg kick. Yeah, that left leg. Might have seen something on a tape. Good angles, really good angles, striking angles from both of these women. The tension here in the building is significant as Gloria has so much support. People yeah. cheering her on, and she's got a fight on her hands. Natalie Schlesinger is legit. Yeah, it seems like everybody's holding their breath a little bit. Ooh, nice trade right yeah. there. With a nice body kick. Oh, and a nice knee on the way in. Did you see that? Yeah. She caught, I think, uh, Glory's got such great reactions. I think she saw it coming in, she hit her with a knee. Fantastic balance there, too, to to stay on the feet. And Natalie pressed her, looking to maybe get the fight to the ground. Glory did a really good job of 
staying composed and staying upright here. Forty-five seconds left in round number one. A very interesting first yeah. round. Be a tough one to score. Glory. Good cage pressure from Natalie. Glory. Glory's in good shape. She's not in any real danger. I'd watch out for that left knee to come up. Good switch. There's oh, a good knee. And that left kick. Yeah, oh. now she's starting to come alive. Yep. There's that good. She got her hand up. We might, you know, if she's pushed and you know, the fight starts slipping away, she might pick up the gear. There's a little damage under Natalie's right eye. Not sure if that happened towards the, the end of the round there, but Vori now moving forward. Oh, that was a good shot. Yeah. Glory to counter. Nice little question mark kick. Both ladies <laughs> showing some respect for one another on the feet here. Glory's got great head movement. Ooh. If that left hook, oh, that nice. was a big shot. Yeah, she just hit her with a double. Yeah. Left, right, yep. That was the biggest shot of the fight so far. Yeah, she, hit, she hit her with two. That was a great combo. Glory Watson coming alive here in round number two. She starts feeling it. Nice. Oh, nice kick. Nice. And, and Natalie's laughing. <laughs> yeah, she's smiling. <laughs> Having fun in there. She's not mean mugging anymore. Got to give a shout out to my guy, Mike Shorey, watching from home tonight. I got my Fight Like Mike Shorey Strong bracelet on. Hope you're doing well, my friend. One of the biggest supporters of MMA here in Maine, and in particular, you know, New England fights. Hope you're enjoying the stream at home as Glory Watson and Natalie Schlesinger battling it out here in round number two. What's up, Mike? Lori with a nice left hook there. She's beating up the, the right side of. Um, Ooh. Oh. Very well timed takedown there by Natalie. And that's interesting because I thought here in round number two, Glory was clearly winning this fight. This is a big moment with Natalie getting this takedown. Glory needs to get back up to the feet here because she's having success on the feet. It would be it would be too bad for her, her point of view to lose the round to lose the round after looking so so good. But you got to tip your cap to Natalie Schlesinger for a very well timed quick takedown. I agree with you completely. I agree with you 100 percent. I think um, you know Glory was dominant on her on her feet. Oh, uh, now now you can make an argument for her taking this round. Oh uh, yeah, I mean Natalie didn't didn't do any damage. She was on top for just a short period of time, but the, the takedown was nice. The key here was Glory Watson transition is now on top. Side control, bad spot for Natalie Schlesinger here with a minute 35 left in round two. And I think you're gonna see some elbows. I think you're gonna see some. Yeah, they want them raining elbows. There's the elbows they're asking for. So now these these strikes in this position give her the advantage, and I, now I give her the round. Yeah, and we don't really know how round one was scored. It could have gone either way, True. so 
if this does get into round three, it could be anyone's fight. Watson on top right now. Great position for her as we are closing in on the last 30 seconds of round two. You know what, one of the tactics that I think is, is super smart as a fighter when you're on top like this, covering your opponent's mouth, I know that's like a wrestling trick, but that's that's super annoying. You, oh, yeah. You, you, and and I, I know a lot of fighters do it. This would be a position where Glory could have done something like that, but right now she's really advancing position, looking to land some big shots here. We have 10 seconds left. Now Glory's going all for it. This round's gonna end, we're gonna, we got another round. And in here is enormous as Glory Watson and Natalie Schlesinger go into round number three, the final round of this fight. Who wants it more? Who's gonna win this third round? I think they're both gonna be looking for a finish here. I don't think anybody feels like it's, it's their round. Or, the, or anybody, nobody feels like it's their fight. Even if Glory won the first, the argument can be made it's 1-1, right? Yeah. So if she loses this round, it goes to the judges. Yeah, no, I mean, this this is the round this right here. This is it, yes. This. Nice, another left head kick by Natalie. Boy, Natalie's face is, is looking busted up right now. Glory's yeah. done some, some good work there. Under her left eye, she's got a, a big mouse forming right there. Good shot by Natalie as the two exchange. They stay very tight in the pocket, both of these ladies. They get in the pocket, they throw these combos, and they don't stick, they don't stick around. I'm so impressed with their boxing. Ooh, that, that yes. was a big kick. It looked like it may have stumbled for a second, but Glory comes back and yeah. landed another nice shot. And now Natalie going for a takedown. Nice sprawl by Glory, but she's backed up against the cage. This is a big moment in the fight. Big elbows, trying to land that big elbow. Now she throws, she throws Natalie into the cage. And she's probably gonna work those legs with some knees. Corner calling for short elbows. All right, three minutes left in this fight. At this point, it really is anyone's fight. Who's going to close out this round number three? Glory Watson looked dominant in round two, clearly won that one, but round one is, is anyone's guess where the judges are going. So crucial, crucial point here of this fight. Round one, toss up. Round two, Glory. Round three, right now, toss up. That's how I, that's how I see it. Yeah. With the head kick, you head. know, the the exchanges in the pocket, pretty even. No takedowns yet. Glory Watson does have a five-inch reach advantage over Natalie, and you know that's where I feel like she has looked her best in this fight is with the stand-up. If I'm Glory, I'm I'm backing off here, and I'm getting back to to striking. I think uh, she heard you. I think she heard you. She wants to get her arms out and throw elbows against the cage so she can't escape. Smart. It's a nice knee there against the cage too by Glory. Oh, big shot. Nice combo by Glory. And a great job by Natalie to get the heck out of there. Yeah, Natalie's tough. That was a big shot. Yes. This round's leaning towards Glory now. Yep, absolutely. Glory's feeling herself right now. She's in there, she's bouncing around. And this is where she wants to be here, in this fight in particular. She's looked great on the feet. Her striking has, has looked fantastic here throughout. So, another big shot. Big left, left one. hand, big left hand. Oh, man, I think that one connected, too. This, Natalie is very tough. Absolutely. So is Glory. Two incredibly tough fighters.
so strong in the pocket, so strong. We're under one minute now to go in the fight. Elbow, and that, but Natalie, Natalie got a few in there, but I think she just hit it. I think she just ate an elbow. As Glory's throwing an elbow on the end of her punches. Glory Watson looking good here as Natalie uh, tried wow. to do a spinning back fist. We got 25 seconds to go. This is a war. Another good combo by Glory in the pocket. Performance, I think she gets the win here. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a round of applause for both these ladies? Great fight. After three rounds of action, we go to the official judges' scorecards. Judge Scott Mellon scores the fight 29-28, whereas Matt Collin and Bill McKinnon score the fight 30-27, all for your winner via unanimous decision, Glory Watson. I think they're, I love her nickname, Natty Ice. <laughs> Natalie, Natty Ice. That is a cool nickname. I'm not a big fan of the beer, but no, me I, either. I, I like the nickname. Let's grab a quick word with Glory Watson. A little adversity in round one. You came on strong in round two and three. You have plenty of fans here in attendance tonight. Your thoughts on the fight? That girl is tough. That girl is a hell of a fighter. Excuse my language, I'm not a swearer in here. But that was absolutely amazing. Couldn't have asked for anything better. I'm just grateful for her and her team for coming out. Busy schedule so far this year. What's next? Doing the best I can, staying as active as I can, as long as I don't get hurt, looking to fight. Still waiting for hopefully a call to one of the big shows, but right now I love putting my name out there with the NEF. They're amazing. The biggest fan of breakfast cereal I know, Glory Watson, ladies and gentlemen, victorious tonight in Auburn, Maine.